I'm Tanner Gates. I'm Gavin Caruso. And uh, we're from the University of North Dakota, and it's the last week of early goose season here in North Dakota. And uh, we're just going over essentials for early goose season. And so we'll start off like just some things as far as clothing. First off, uh, this morning we were both wearing sweatshirts because it was a little chilly, so you gotta always be ready for the elements. Uh, both of us have light, light pants on, yeah. somewhat waterproof, somewhat water resistant. Um, doesn't really matter if you get them dirty or not. Both of us have waterproof boots on. It was a little muddy this morning because we had some rain. Uh, and you can wear junk clothes. These aren't great jeans. I'm not worried about getting them dirty or anything. So, One of the most important things if you're going to be hunting for early waterfowl is a firearm. So right here we got the Spondow S2. This was a nice gun that uh, Campus Waterfowl brought with us to let us test out and see. It shot really well today and we liked it a lot. Uh, they also sponsored us with some Kent Fast Steel um, shot. So we were shooting 12 gauge, three inch, uh, and there was a mixed bag of two to four shot in the box. Um, I think 12 gauge is probably a pretty preferred caliber for um, waterfowl hunters in general. Following this, uh, calls are super nice and super essential for yep. waterfowl hunting and goose hunting especially. Yep, uh, you're gonna, one of the big things is a lot of people think they sound like they suck when they start calling and that's just like anything you're not gonna be great at when you start so you just got to keep practicing and uh, you just got to watch videos or learn from someone who knows how to call and next thing you know you'll be calling plenty good to kill some geese. A thermocell is super nice uh, to have in the early goose season. Uh, the mosquitoes here in North Dakota and many other states are really bad especially early on when it's warm out. And then with your gun and your calls and everything a nice blind bag is good to go with that because you can put drinks if you need, your shells, your calls, the thermocell, if you got a pair of binoculars and you want to look at stuff, whatever you need, and it's a nice little just bag to keep with you to have all your essential items with. And then we're going to move on over here. Uh, so this right here is a kickback blind. It's nice and low profile, and Gavin was using this today. These come with, uh, or you gotta buy, like it's almost like a blanket setup with them. And you can brush the blanket in and you roll them up and they're super lightweight, super easy to get in and out of fields and uh, other places. Uh, another blind setup is gonna be what they call a layout blind. And it has doors that are associated with it. So you actually sit down inside. You can have your shells in here. You can have your gun bag in here. Um, super nice. Also low profile, depending on the, the brand that you get. Um, when they're fully brushed in, they look pretty. They look pretty good. Yeah. So. And then one thing we like to use when you're when you're laying in either of these, uh, a goose flag. That's one nice thing you can have. Uh, I usually like if I'm laying in this, for example, I like to keep it behind me so that when geese are coming, I can go up and get them the flag. Um, just another simple thing to attract them, and then you can lay it right behind you when you're done using it and the geese get close so that they don't spook or anything and then uh, another thing we don't have it with us right now today because we didn't use it for this hunt but you can also use an a-frame which is just essentially a blind like this and you can sit down in it especially for I know my uncle can't lay in a layout like this so if you got someone who can't lay in a layout or just if the hunt uh, allows for it you can sit in an a-frame and be a little bit more comfortable and easier to pop up and shoot. Uh, moving on, so we want to brush these blinds in, right? So there's some tools that we can use to help brush our blinds in. Uh, first thing, super easy, super cheap, it's just a rake. Easy enough to grab stuff and uh, cut, cut weed or cut corn off the ground. Uh, another thing that we use to uh, cut... Really anything, no yeah. matter what field you're in. Yeah. A lot of times it's wheat up here in North Dakota. Um, later season we get into corn, but early season a lot of times it's wheat. Sometimes we get grass. Um, but if you gotta you gotta yeah. brush a lot of blinds in really quickly, this is gonna this yep. is gonna save some time. Yeah, that works just fine. I mean, if you're on a budget, there's no reason that won't work. But this is just nice for, like he said, it's a little bit quicker if you need extra and you want to make sure your blinds are really good like you don't want to see any of this like we got here but we were picking up and stuff kind of falls off so you, you want to plan ahead and make sure you got plenty of extra time in the morning to brush those in because it takes a while and 
you want that to look good. Otherwise, the geese will see you. Yeah. One of the single most important thing about goose hunting is having a good important. brushed in blind. Yeah. yeah. I'd say. Yep. Being hidden. Mm hmm. So then we're going to move on to different types of decoys that we have here today. Yep. Uh, the first type of decoy is a brand called Bigfoot Decoy. They're a little bit of an older style, but they have detachable feet and they have detachable heads. This uh, is the full body decoy, so they represent the full body of a goose in 360 dimension. Uh, they look really good. They're really nice and large. Really useful, yeah. Yep. And like these are uh, a little bit newer ones, and so these got what's called flocked head. And this is just nice for like the reflection in the morning and stuff like that, or if it's uh, really once it gets cold out and it's dewy or uh, froze over, kind of. This kind of prevents that from getting, like on this one, you'll get a little bit of a shiny head, but this prevents that a little bit. And they're both great decoys, really nice for a big presentation to attract the geese from a long ways away. And the next uh, the next type of decoy we have, what brand are these? That those, you have are, those are Avian X's. So Avian X, so a little bit more of top of the line decoy. Uh, as you saw with the Bigfoot decoys, they actually have the feet that are attached and they look like feet. This is more of a common style where they have the uh, have either a circle or a square metal post on the bottom. One big thing with this, as you notice, it rotates. So if it's windy, that adds motion to your spread and just makes, makes it, it look more, more realistic. realistic. Yeah. And another thing too, the uh, these are nice for storage purposes. You can just pop those in, and then they're a little bit more compact. And you can also buy bags for them and stuff. So. You also, you store the nice. The different positions you can have this decoy. Yeah. You can have it up in tall, taller corn or taller wheat, and then if you want to have it low profile, like they're like they're laying down. You just push that right to the ground. And same with all these, they have different heads and different different angles they're going about. You want to make sure you have a nice mixture of decoys. You don't want you don't want all the same decoy. You want a little bit of a mixture so that it looks more realistic. Because geese are they're animals just like we are. We do different things so. Yep. And, the, and then we'll go back here. The final style of decoys that we have. Uh, Dive Bomb makes a really, really nice, really easy, really compact uh, decoy setup. They are, uh, they're called silhouettes. Um, they also, you can buy them with the, the felt heads on them so they look a little bit better or when you have the dew. Or um, you can buy them standard. Yep. And they come in many different heads or shapes as well as the full body decoys and they're nice for especially guys like us college students if we're uh they're cheap don't, they're cheap they're easy to move around they're compact they're really they're really nice for on the run kind of oh i gotta go to class but i want to hunt tomorrow or whatever and they're really nice for that um and they also have like this one is a this one's just a black and white one and uh these might look silly, but geese can only see in two dimensions, so they can't necessarily tell the difference between a decoy like the full body over there or this. That's just a bigger target for them to see, but they can't tell that this isn't real, so to speak. Yeah, and I mean, you know as well as I do, you know, geese are flying around, they're looking at that spread yep. from different angles, and the full bodies allow you to present a goose imitation from all angles mm -hmm. where these, as soon as you turn sideways, that disappears. But if they're flying at this angle, they can see it a little bit better. Uh, these dive bombs are great on their own, or if you have a nice big spread of full bodies, they're great for two, like just filler and a little extra, extra oomph, if you will. Yeah, like yeah. fluff your spread out. And then we're also, we're blessed enough to be able to have a trailer and Obviously it's not a huge trailer, but we have all of this stuff inside of this trailer and there's also some stuff still in there. Um, and obviously not everyone can have that or they might have a car and not be able to pull it, but that's just something we're, we're lucky yeah. enough to have. So yep. grateful for that. And makes it super easy to get a lot of gear in and out of a field, mm -hmm. not having to carry it super yeah. far. And these are, that's pretty much all you'll need for a really Early basic goose stuff season, for yeah. a good early goose season to try and get out there and kill some geese. Today's hunt, we uh, we used everything that's up here. The only thing we did not use was the the dive bomb decoys. We we had enough full body decoys that we felt like the spread was enough. Um, 
had a good hunt this morning and mm -hmm. if you want to watch that click on the video over here <laughs> right here It'll be over there <laughs> yeah and uh we hope you can get into some goose hunting yeah appreciate you guys watching uh please like comment and subscribe for more content Thank you.